girl, it's hot. Oh, look at this floor. I just did these floors this morning. Um, got a call from my mom this morning and that my um, father's, uh, one of his brothers has passed away. And I feel ridiculously horrible for them, y'all, because this is their first sibling on my Girl. The first sibling that my father has lost. And so I know this is going to be difficult for them. And <clears throat> I was able to see him, my uncle David, when I was in Texas last time. So we are, you know, definitely was blessed to do that. Is this? I hate that I'm out here right now um, because my gut instinct was telling me, and I, I already had it in my head that I knew that my family members would be passing away with, you know, because we, we, that's just a part of life. Death is a part of life. Um, hell, I'm gonna be 41 this year. And my mom is in her 60s and she's the baby. So yeah, that means, and my dad is a middle child and he's only 64. So yeah, that means that, you know, eventually people are gonna start passing away. So I just didn't, of course, none of us first, first saw a pandemic, so. So, you know, and it was funny, I was over at Ms. Lori's house. When I'm going through stuff, I tend to, I don't necessarily say that I am, I keep it in because I don't, girl, what is that? Oh, sorry. I don't necessarily keep it in, but I need to be by myself for a while. I do, I don't necessarily internalize things, but I need to be by myself for a while. Um... I don't need to be around people, other people that are going through stuff or people in general. I'm an introvert at heart, really. So she kept, you know, Miss Lori kept asking me, are things okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I, I need to be in a, in a certain mindset and I'll come over and, and speak to you guys. So I think what was it? Two or three days ago, I went over there and she was basically like, you know, just asking me what happened with my cousin and my, my little cousins, you know, and babies. And I told her what happened and she basically was like, you know, she's like, see, when stuff like this happens, it makes me wonder, like, how can there be a God and this happens? And I looked at her and I said, absolutely not. Because this is where faith comes into play. And I get it, you guys. It's okay to question, you know, and um. And it's okay to question and ask why, but this is what I think is, is the confusing part for people who, who are not Christians or non-believers in general is, and I've had this discussion with her, you know, before, and she's like, how can, when the man around the corner killed his entire family, and she's like, how can God let that happen? I said, that's my God. So you see what I'm saying? That's not God doing that. That is the enemy. That is That was that man acting out on sin and doing that. At the end of the day, we are not immune from bad things happening. If anything, it's going to get worse because um, the enemy is going to want to put throw everything at you to make you not believe, to question why. You know what I mean? But I told her, I said, oh no, I come from a believing family and we tap into our faith. So as soon as I heard that about my cousin, I immediately got into the scriptures, looking at words of comfort, words of peace, so I can have that. Good morning, y'all. It is early, girl, what time is it? It's a little after five o'clock. Y'all, this is me, I get up early. It is, um, it's Saturday, yesterday, <laughs> Y'all, I am the neutral person, meaning it's just my personality, I guess. I'm the neutral friend. Don't put me in the middle of your bullshit, though. I'm just going to say that. But I tend to be the neutral friend. I'm the person that everybody gets along with. Not everybody, but mostly people get along with. So yesterday, I went over to Miss Lori's house, my friend and neighbor, and I was cracking up because... If I go to this side of the house, these people are talking about the other people in the house. If I go on this side, they talking to me about those people. And so, but I'm not the type of person, I don't carry any information to the other party. I just listen and I laugh my ass off. Um, but I'm also a type of person, I don't take sides. Uh, <laughs> what's right, what's right, what's wrong, what's wrong. And if you get mad, you get mad. 
And I've had those conversations over there <laughs> one time. <laughs> Let me tell you something, baby, I'm honest. If you don't like it, you don't like it. So one time I was over there and I had, had a couple of drinks. We were all over there, we were partying. I had a couple of drinks with them. And so I told my friend, I said, this is a dysfunctional ass house. And the other lady that was there, her friend that was there was agreeing with me and laughing. And Miss Lori didn't like that. And I said, if you're going to get mad, get mad at me. Don't get mad at her. She doesn't want to get mad at me, y'all. I'm like, get mad at me. If you're going to get mad, don't get mad at her. Because I guess when I left, when I said that, when I left, she snapped off on her. I said, what you getting mad at her for? I'm the one that said it. And I'll say it again. This is a dysfunctional ass house. And even her husband agreed with me. But anyway, long story short, I said, if you want someone to lie to you, you could, you know, I'm not Justine. Justine can lie to you. What's so funny? I kind of, I had so many drinks. I forgot Justine was sitting up there at, <laughs> Justine was there in the kitchen. Justine turned around. She's like, um, is everything okay? I said, yeah, Justine. Hey girl. <laughs> anyway y'all this is a comforter i got now you know this is a good comforter because they vacuum sealed this this comes with just a comforter and two pillow shams the euro pillow shams i believe and this was on sale for 49 dollars. originally it was 159 through wayfair Say hello. Hey girl. Hey. Hey Javi. Hi. What you doing, boo? Tell me, baby. Oh, we gonna have lobster stuff. We ain't never ate before. So I don't ate lobster. All right, you guys. I am here to take down my hair. This is my first wash and go for the year. Um. So, girl. I'm looking like some backup singer for Prince. I don't know why I had it like that. All right. Oh Lord, child. How much money do you have now? Like a little over 20? I have, I, I, I have actually, um, actually have a little bit way more than 20. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lightly spray my hair. I know it's kind of redundant. The middle of my hair is still wet. Like right here, the crown. She's still wet. So let's lightly spray. That's it. Take off my glasses. Shake my head. So, we're going to allow her to continue to fall and air dry naturally. Naturally, girl. Just air dry. Um, girl. And then tomorrow, I mean, tonight, I'll do the same thing. Put my, because it's still wet in the bag. Tonight, I'll do the same thing. Um, put my hair in little mini pineapples and then put my bunny on and then tomorrow she should be ready. after that but definitely girl Texas in two years and so yes I'm excited y'all I need to be close to my family right now I, it, it really does help you know to be because we don't have any family uh, and I we, I just got my tribe of friends here in, in Phoenix within the last five years, but that's not enough for me right now. Um, so I'm excited. Yes, I just want to share that y'all. And I will be journaling, journaling that or vlogging that process of moving back. It's gonna be a while. Look at me being the organizer. I need to go ahead and create my spreadsheet. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, don't talk to me too much. I need to get a spreadsheet going on what we gotta do. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I can still do my same job and work from home. My husband said he'll probably take a couple of months off. I'm like, a couple of months? You got that much money? 
can I take a couple? No, I gotta work. I wanna work. I'll go crazy if I don't work. So, um, I can work anywhere. I can work anywhere globally, actually. But yeah, we actually have an office in Irving. So if I wanted to, I could work in the office there. But no, I'll be working from home. The good thing about look, uh, Dallas school system is not is not so good either. However, there are pockets of black communities which helps like my baby said to just the other day he's like i don't have any black friends isn't that sad that is sad so i've always had it in my back of my head this is why it's so important to visualize yourself where you want to be even when my husband was like, i ain't never moving back to texas i ain't never moving back to texas i already had it in my heart and I verbatim said it, you know, we have to move back to Texas before this child goes to high school, before middle school, actually, by 10 and we're doing it. OK, so I'm excited, y'all. It's, it's kind of I'm OK because, hey, I moved from Texas to here. And now we're moving back. So I'm OK. My husband has family in Texas, too, y'all. Just so you know, he and um, JB has cousins. He's never met on my husband's side. He's met his cousins, you know, my sister's kids. But again, it's good. It'll be good to be around all of that. I'm so excited. Christmas with the family or with this COVID ho though. But Christmas and just holidays. Yeah, I could cry. Like I could seriously cry happy tears. God is good though. God is good. Hey, you guys, it's Friday, girl, this big ass bunny. It's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. It's early, I couldn't sleep, y'all. I couldn't sleep, because I was so excited about the possibilities. So I've already started to tell some people. Um, I told my neighbors that are actually from Paris, Texas. And they're like, oh, I'm like, why y'all sad? Y'all should be happy. Most of the people I'm telling that live here are already sad. I'm like, y'all should be happy. <laughs> But um, they're like, okay, they they invited me in. My neighbors from Paris, Texas invited my, me in to talk to them, which is the first time since the pandemic hit, but they know that we've been vaccinated anyway. Um, but they were like, well, you and Alex can go, but you're gonna have to leave the baby here. I'm talking about JB, girl, just like some grandparents. He actually recommended that I try out, that we check out Denton. Denton, Texas is near, um, north is uh lewisville that area lewisville too was recommended so y'all that's the thing about dallas it being so spread out like a spider web um there's so many pockets that you can look into so those who don't know i'm originally from texas girl y'all should know this by now grew up in longview texas let me back up i was actually born in columbus ohio most of my family are texan though um Everybody is in Texas, uh, in between East Texas, Dallas, and Houston. Got a lot of family members in Houston. Um, got some family in California and family in Ohio. But 400 of them are, are situated there. So anyway, um, went to school in Denton, Texas, where UNT is at University of North Texas. Lived in Irving for a while. Lived in, where do we live in? We lived in Irving. Then we lived in Las Colinas, and then I moved to Former's Branch, which is all the same area. Now, we were looking at the prices of houses, and they have still gone up in Texas, too. Wow. Um, it used to be uh, about the same. Um, so, anyway, we're just trying to... Now, girl, I'm going to pull up my laptop and start a spreadsheet. I'm very organized, and so, like I stated... In the previous clip, y'all, let me take off this bus. <laughs> no, that looks even worse. Let me just do like this. As I stated in the previous clip, we have a two-year plan. Um, and one thing that I think is really important is talking about finances, especially as a couple. So my husband sometimes doesn't come out right to say stuff. So. I'm like, you, you need to work on a communication skill. So he asked me how much do I have on my car to pay off? And I said, well, I got about, I, honestly, I should have had this car paid off a while, y'all. Y'all been following me since I purchased this car. So I have about 6000 I can I could pay that off soon, honestly. And so he has paid, thank you, God, for blessing me with a husband that can provide. He's paid off his car. Um, one of the reasons why we were, I feel like we 
just stuck in Phoenix is that his job was paying off his student loans. Yes, baby. So he's been with that company for 14 years. And for 14 years, they were paying off his student loans and I think it's, it's paid. I think he's like a couple, a couple of thousands left, like less than 5,000 of his student loans and he's done. Looking into, but God is good, y'all. And what I'm gonna tell you, the power of manifesting, power of prayer, um, everything is just lining up. I even, you know, the church that I look to look at online, Full Gospel Holy Temple, which is on um, Lyndon B. Justin Freeway out in um, Texas. I think that's Irving, Texas, actually. And I said, okay, this is why I would tell myself, okay, when I move back to Texas, that's going to be my church home. I've been saying that for like, I kid you not, I've been saying this for nine years. When I move back to Texas, that's going to be my church home. But I never pushed you know, the notion to move back to Texas, Texas, because again, like I said, the huge incentive was getting my husband's student loans paid off. And so, yeah, um, I looked at a couple of forums online, joined a couple of groups, Facebook groups with African-American women and moms and the homeschool laws are pretty simple in Texas too. You don't even have to like here, I have to submit a, intent to homeschool here in, in Arizona. You don't even have to do that in Texas. So yeah, um, even was looking at Chilforni when my best friend lived it, but I don't think she likes it there. This helper hasn't even responded to me. I sent her a message yesterday and she hasn't even responded. So um, my neighbors, I, hell, I was even, like I told you, I was considering Tyler, but my neighbor said Tyler is not the place uh, my husband lived in Tyler actually for a while so yeah y'all we'll think we'll, we still have time I mean there's so many pockets like I said of neighborhoods um to consider so once we get down there it'll be easier you know what I mean so hey you guys this is what my hair looks like this is what I'm wearing let me turn this camera around so y'all can really see girl Makeup, hair, wash and go looks good for a change, girl. Let's go, girl. There's a guy using his phone above here, and, and I'm not right here. When I was here, they were just working on the Jimmy Choo store the last time I was here. They didn't even have this. Uh-uh, uh-uh, JB, put that back. 